if you have a patch that you want to apply to an item, you want the stitches that hold it in place to be as subtle as possible. To do this, we would recommend using an embroidery hoop to keep the item's fabric tensioned and flat whilst you work on it. If that isn't practical, for example, if you were embroidering onto a bag or fabric that would be damaged by the hooping up process, just ensure that it is flat and you don't pull your stitches over tight. If you need help framing up, check out our other pro tip in the top right hand corner. Once framed up, select a thread of texture and colour that is similar to the outer part of your patch. Start with a knot in the end of a single thread and anchor the thread underneath where the patch will be placed. Your thread should be approximately fingertip to elbow in length to keep it at a manageable length. Using a small slip stitch, we will sew the patch into place, coming up on the outside of the patch so as not to distort the patch, and then bringing the needle down just inside of the outside of the patch to catch it and hold it into place. We're aiming for the stitch to remain perpendicular to the edge of the patch throughout, so that the stitches fall in line with the edge of the patch stitching and disappear. Come up a few millimetres along from your first stitch and repeat, turning when you need to to keep those stitches perpendicular to the patch's edge. When you get to the end, finish with a small double slip knot on the underside of your item. This will ensure that your patch stays securely in place on your item, but also allows you to remove the patch without damaging the item if you need to in the future. Thanks for joining me for this pro tip. Do check out our pro tips playlist if you want further tips and tricks from us and the Surreal Eye Patch Kit if you'd like to make a patch of your own. Have fun, stitch well and keep making beautiful things.